Ooh, what's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. We are here with the Elsted campaign once again. Last mission, Reconquista. We were trapped and alone in our kingdom of Alethia. The Sith immediately sent out messages for potential allies, but there were few to be found. The Christian kingdom of Aragon was too far away, and King Alfonso of Castile seemed in no hurry to come to the Sith's defense. Even the Sith's old ally, Motamit the Moor, was of no avail. Yusuf had sent him into exile in the Sahara Desert, where he spent the rest of his sad days composing poetry. The Berbers rode around the city for ten days and nights, shrieking and banging their weapons on shields made of hippopotamus hide. But the Sith comforted his troops, prayed and planned the Well, banging your weapons against shields doesn't kill anyone, so... During a brilliant surprise attack to capture gold and horses from the Berbers, Rodrigo Diaz, my Sith, was shot by a stray arrow. The surprise attack became a rout, and the Sith's men barely made it back to the castle with his broken body. Rodrigo and I knew he would not last the night. But we also knew that without their seed to lead them, the soldiers of Valencia would never have the strength to stand against the Berbers. So as he breathed his last breath, I strapped my husband onto his horse, Babieca, and placed his sword, Tuzon, in his hand. Babieca stood out above the city of Valencia. My one hope was that the men would not realize the charade. Realize that their seed was already dead. It's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. What's with the loading times lately? There we go. Defeat the three armies of Yusuf so that Valencia will remain free. The body of the Cid near the castle must come to no harm, lest the people of Valencia realize that they have lost their leader. Ximena Diaz, that's the woman who is restricted to a population limit of 125, and yeah, we need to expand. That's correct, and yeah, we will fight in Spain first, so let's jump into it. I kinda need those guys. Um, yeah, hold on. Yeah, that's what we need those guys for. And taking down the trebuchets. Oh, we have no wood. That's fantastic. Yeah, we'll get the space down and I think the Cavaliers should be able to do a pretty good job here. Well, please get in there and maybe support getting all of this food out. There you go. Um, yeah, the good thing is we don't actually need to pay attention to the Sid himself. So that's something, I guess. Should bring back the units here. Or at least these to fight off those rams here. Okay, all of them. All of them coming back now. Yeah, but their base is done. We always sort of retreat, but not very much. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, as you can see, we don't have very many resources here, which is a problem. But at the same time, a problem that we will fix. Let's put one of the stone there. Obviously, we want to strengthen the economy a little bit. And I want to get out a trebuchet as soon as we can. Now nah, I want to put it up there. It'd also be good regarding keeping the sit safe. He's only his horse who lives. Do we have No. Yeah, these guys are now pretty busy gathering food, which is always good. We have knights, which is not a whole lot, to be exact. I'll go for conquistador horse. For the most part. And then we'll see. I think Conquistadors should be pretty good. Shame we can't use El Cid. Those hero units are obviously pretty strong. These guys are done soon, but the space will stand. At least for a moment. I know that the expansion has released and I'm probably wondering why I'm not playing it. Well. I don't know, I started this before the expansion release, so I do this first. And I want to inform about the expansion first before I actually include that in any actual play. Come on, give me a trap. Quick. Please. There we go. There we go. Let's just kill everything here. Everything that is dead is good. Well, at least when, as far as enemy here goes, right? I'd like to expand my base down there, but I should first... Put a castle out. And then we can attack from this position. Get some conquistadors there and... Well, obviously we can expand up there, it's a good position. Oh, we have a monastery just triggered. Increase the doors all in all will be... ...pretty much what we need. <laughs> it will be very important. For us. Let's go up there, that secures us some gold. Obviously we have no gold income right now. We do have a lot of stone income though. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Let's get some resources here. Is this gold? Yeah, that's gold. Good. We don't have a whole lot of gold here. It's not a big issue. Well, a ton of stone income right now, but that's not going to be that important in the long run. Let's get the armor upgrade for him. And move forward with that army. Now, obviously, we have castle standing here. We have no university. Bit of a shame, let's put one here because why not. Actually, use that. The camels would be useful, but... Didn't want to put them in harm's way. If not necessary. Yeah, we have no gold. I totally forgot. How <laughs> can you forget something like that? Well, you know. 
It happens. This would be some tax that I would like, but so far so good. We are taking down their buildings. They will be dead soon, then the Black Heart Navy will be dead relatively quickly. Well, we don't need any more guys here. Actually, come down here for defense. That tower is basically dead, but hit bad. And probably a trap. There was a trap down here, right? Uh, from those guys. So, we take this down, the siege workshop is down soon. Let's keep those guys up here, let's make that a main army and that can be somewhat of a secondary army because I don't really care about these guys. Come on the other side, and we can do this. And now we have a ton of wood here. That guard defeated. So that's good. See? One, two, three, five, six, seven. There we go. That should fit a lot better with what we need. Let's get Bracer. Let's get our castle here on the gold if we can. Should be able to. Let's pack him up. I can take down the house, I don't really care. Bracer would be good, obviously, and chemistry will be good as well. And a castle here will be pretty sweet. Chemistry will allow bombard towers as well. Although I'm not entirely sure we actually want those, but. Come to that in a moment anyway. Let's use these guys on that gold mine. Get another treb out. Pretty mixed army here. <laughs> oh, there's more stone. Let's put one up there. Get conscription. Let's just give him number one. Why not? Let's probably attack here. Oh, yeah, the tower will just be an annoyance. That's like its entire function. Like, we have a Berbers, and it makes sense because we are fighting the Berbers, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, should be attacked. What doesn't make a whole lot of sense is that I think the Blackguard army was Turks. No, they're Berbers. Yusuf Turks? Someone was Turks. They're all Berbers now. So that must have been a while ago. I mean, it is quite a while ago that I originally played this, so... <coughs> I'm pretty sure... Or were they Turks in AOC? They were Turks at some point. Not that much. Can I, can I not reach, no? for it, but still it's quite a lot of resources. Shouldn't have too much trouble on the water against Berbers, as was Spanish. So where's that? That's kind of the wrong target. Oh, 
All I know is that someone was Turks at some point. Let's put another house up. We probably don't need that, but why not, right? One, two, we probably need some wood income. Now that we've put these guys on the stone. And now we can get elite Kongs and and we can go into conquistador production and that's just annoying. I forgot the hard key. F D F it is. Ugh, whatever. Okay. It's a bit annoying but the castles will do. You probably need to go for water a little bit earlier. All things considered. I just didn't care all that. Um, maybe I support it with bombards. I haven't decided yet. The only issue is losing a lot of food economy, so. One, two, three, four, five. Let's restructure our eco a little bit. Not exactly where where I want it. There we go. And this isn't ideal. Let's get into a tower fine. We'll have an influx of conquistador soon, and then yellow is dead. I mean, we don't have upgraded towers, so we're not particularly great, but it's better than nothing, right? Let's go up here, raid them. These guys down here, they can defend. Which might not be enough, but... Are you serious? <laughs> they brought one monk? Let's send him back to work. So we fought. <laughs> Just send the galleons in, I don't really care. They're here as well. God, it's so expensive. So we have much less issues with... Oops. Getting required gold at the moment. And there is a chance that that changes. Misclick. I can put these on too. Get a couple more galleons out. We will have to go into galleons sometime soon anyway. So it's something we have to do. Let's get rid of all of these villagers here. Let's go for that. Where is it? Ooh, that's some range. Yeah, I can't get to 800. It's impossible. Probably not impossible, but you know what I mean. No, I don't. Well, then you don't. <laughs> Whatever. Yep, 
There goes nothing. Yellow is very much dead. There's not a whole lot. Well, a ship ride is a tech, but I will want and faster movement. So that's still quite a lot of resources going in. But I want both of them, so it's just the price I have to pay. And then we take Yusuf, who is... I'll actually research this as well. Because we have to do a landing later, and for the landing it's very beneficial to have that. But since we're right now not producing anything, at least not a whole lot, it's probably the best we can do. Actually, I also want elite cannon galleons. And we'll probably downsize our army, we'll probably produce most of it on the other side of the map. Pick up the relic. Yeah, let's get rid of these two. <coughs> Yellow is very dead. Let's get ship right, and then I want the faster ships as well. Technically, the better transport ships also help when you do the landing, but I don't really care about that. I don't really care about this, eh? Let's just put one there. Get him over there as well. Probably these guys on that. And we should be set. There's a whole lot of gold remaining, so once this runs out. And this, we will be fine. Still have a ton of gold left over. Do we need any of this? Not really. So yeah, a lot of our fishing eco has gone where everything goes eventually. Let's just gather up our units. All right. There's not a whole lot I really want here. What about going seven thousand six hundred? That's quite a lot. <laughs> Could actually probably afford it if we save up for it, but I'm not going to do that for a variety of reasons. Where's the dock? There it is. Construir. 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 There we go. I'm not going to lead him yet, I'm going to heal the guys first. That's 47 units. Should we kill 7 and then transport 40 over? Let's quickly increase the game speed. And what's ours? G. G is good, I could keep that in mind. Some galleons. I will have to delete some villagers. Probably. Eventually. Actually, villagers are what I will most likely transport over. This is a new one. Here, the new two. At least until we 
have our landing them because right now our land army doesn't matter. from now. Alright, let's raid the shoreline. The map reminds me of an AoE 1 map, but I'm not entirely sure I think the Roman campaign, where you need to destroy a wonder, but I have no idea which actual mission it was. So don't ask me. Let's go down and down game speed a little bit. Wait, do I have the range to actually take us down here? Because then I'm just going to throw away some of the galleons here. Obviously we don't green even that much. Not that important. So we're taking down pretty much everything we have now. At least on the water. Yeah, this is fine. And so is well, ah, that's not fine. We already have a monastery here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's another castle. I think we, we could go regular towers, that would be hilarious. But. Not seeing a necessity for that. Probably don't even need the ships in those numbers. This is a bit of an anthill mission, really, where once you poke in, you have a massive army coming your way, but it's not really very threatening because we will lose most of it relatively quickly. Tr getting the trebuchets down is important, though. Because obviously the trebuchet is when you're landing and you put up production facilities so it will take them down relatively quickly, so that is I just have to, sorry. I just have to go for regular towers. We'll just use all of these guys, right? Whoopsie. So that's a gateway to Africa here. Oh, it's... Yeah, the tower is annoying. It's an insane range that makes it annoying. Let's actually waste some of these guys. That is full. Actually, not sure we're just going to waste you guys. I actually don't think that's the case. We have a pretty good shot at dealing with them. Obviously, I'm going to need the trebuchets. Oh, that's 18 units. Let's get rid of this one. That's a lot of 
villagers that we have available here for our military operation. We have a second transport. That's convenient, isn't it? There we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's quite the arm here. So that's why having ships makes sense. I certainly don't want to fight this naked with only land army. Soon we will go back to yeah land army like I said. But having the water support is crucial. Makes things so much easier. Okay, this one will transport here and this one will unload here. And we should have a pretty good position from which we can push. They're attacking now, and that's going to be pretty bad for them, I would think. Let's put a castle here just as a beacon, so to speak. And a point of production as well. Speak of an anthill. <laughs> if you ever stepped foot in one, you will understand what I mean. Gee, that's a whole lot of units. Let's get some, some of those up. Actually. We'll do it from the water, it's easier. Oh, I actually think we can do a lot of reproduction here, but it's kind of nasty, the uh, trap fighting. Yeah, the, the water as well, having the water control is crucial here because you're probably going to die if you don't. That water support is worth a lot. I'm actually trying to push forward here. Once that castle stands, that's a ton of units. It's coming here. And that is a ton of units. I shouldn't have that much left room. Now I'm actually starting to question our gold income a little bit because we don't have very many guys on gold. We can use these guys now, but the effect of it is remains to be seen. And the top half is mostly covered, but I seem pretty dead now though. say a lot but I seem pretty dead now. Let's pull back. And we're already back to pop cap so our little show of force wasn't really as scary as it may have looked.
There's another tower? Yeah, there is. These towers are so annoying. Is there anything else to fight? We got under our TC now. We are done! Done and dusted. Yep, that wasn't too bad, I would say. Yep, there we go. That's a victory. And yeah, that was pretty darn straightforward, I would say. So let's go to the end screen. Was the twilight of Moorish Day. The Berber army had been broken and Valencia withstood the siege. King Alfonso would not allow us to bury the seed until he could personally attend the funeral. When he arrived, he dispelled all thoughts of interring the seed into the earth. Instead, the seed body was preserved and placed near the altar of the church, seated on an ivory stool that he had captured from the moors, clothed in precious silk and holding his sword, Tizon, in his left hand. And who was left to rule in Valencia? King Alfonso of Castile or Count Berenguer of Barcelona? No, Valencia is mine. It is I, Jimena Diez, who claims rulership of my dead husband's kingdom. And if the Berbers return to Valencia, it is I whom they shall find commanding the soldiers of Rodrigo Diez, El Cid Campeador. That was quite convincing, I would say. So, yeah, that was not too bad. Also, when you look at the timeline, you pretty much don't have very much to fear. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And until next time. Farewell.